Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is actually a series of tutorials or short lectures on computer terminologies for high performance computing. Now, uh, let me give you guys a quick introduction about what this is so that you can, you know, you'll get an idea of what's happening. Um, some time ago, I told in one of my other previous tutorials that I'll be having a tutorial series on OpenMP and MPI implementations in uh, Fortran. Okay. Now, before we go into that, uh, I thought it I thought it would be mandatory and necessary to look at some terminology, some some concepts, uh, which kind of gives us a background idea of what's happening uh, behind what's happening uh, inside the computer in the computer. For instance, uh, when, whenever you work with uh, you know parallel programming or pro parallel programming or super fa fast computing or doing a lot of calculations. Sometimes you might not you might come across a lot of optimization issues like uh, memory overflow or uh, you know sometimes the code might not be working fast. Sometimes when when you switch the com uh, code from one computer to another computer or one system to another system, what happens is that they might behave a little differently. Speed wise, memory wise, and uh, the result wise, there might be a lot of changes. Okay, now one way to look at it is is like if you understand some basics of how the uh, computers and systems work then this will be really helpful and useful and uh, keeping that in mind and um, this lecture this short series this series is actually concentrated on looking into the theoretical aspects of all these concepts and I'll be giving guys a know a good uh, a brief overview about this stuff over there so that you guys can have a look at it now here's the thing about this series this is this is actually intended for uh, people who are new to parallel or scientific programming. So if you guys are just regular programmers or something like that, and if you want to shift to parallel programming or scientific programming, this will be really helpful. At least on the base, at least on the fundamentals, it will be helpful. And after that, I mean, you you have to work on your own. But on the on the surface, on the beginners uh, beginners point of view, if you want to understand some basic concepts of how uh, programs work under the hood or something like that, on the basics, it will work. And secondly, this is useful for people working with supercomputers. Now, there, there might be a lot of people who, uh, if you I mean, if you're a, you know, a person who who uses parallel programming or scientific computing, or something similar, then for doing all of all of your calculations, it might be necessary to work with supercomputers. And sometimes uh, there are some terminologies associated with them. So I'll be explaining you guys in this series. And also, this is actually. And most importantly, this series is actually prerequisite for the parallel program tutorials that will be coming up in some time. And one thing is about this tutorial series is that it is non-linear. In sense, non-linear and batch it's made in batches. So each video may not be connected to each other unless otherwise I mentioned. So you don't have to watch all of them. Uh, just refer to them for quick fix clarifications and for some basic outlines and that's it. Now, if, now there are a lot more details. Uh, there, there are actually a lot of a uh, lot more technical details under the hood uh, for all the topics I've discussed over here. Will be uh, that I'll be discussing in this over here. So you don't have to necessarily know all of them. So just know a little bit, and uh, that will be really helpful. And uh, this is just for uh, you know quick refresh or some quick review. Uh, that's how I that's how we designed this uh, tutorial series this particular one so if you want more details you can obviously go look back into text uh, look back into literature uh, in internet or search for books or you know take some higher high level courses that will be really useful i'm just tailoring this uh, series for my as an introduction for my you know fortran open mp and fortran mpi to video series that is coming in some time so okay with that with that being said this is the introduction for uh, this series now, from the next video onwards, we'll be concentrating on some of the terms and terminologies that will be that we'll be dealing in high performance that we'll be dealing in high performance computing. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.